Hi, welcome to valuationpodcast.com, a podcast and video series about all things related to business and valuation. My name is Melissa Gregg, and I provide online valuation services for mediation and litigation based in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we will discuss Donald Trump's tax return, and it's really a case study for divorce attorneys and what to look at in a personal tax return with Jason Soman. He's a valuation expert in Boca Raton, Florida. He owns his own firm, Accounting and Valuation LLC, and he's specializing in business valuation and forensic accounting in the context of divorce. Welcome, Jason. How Thank are you? Thank you, Melissa, for having me. It's a pleasure to be back on. But when you deal with a divorce of a real estate developer or anybody in the real estate industry, they're going to be like, oh, you don't understand depreciation recapture and everything's worth nothing. And oh my gosh, you know, so talk a little bit about like why anybody even cares about that. I know this is a little bit, it, it's kind of in the same threshold of like, how could it be negative and yet still have something come in? What do, do we care about depreciation recapture? What does it mean in real estate? Absolutely. So, you know, I, I think it's also important to understand that, uh, you know, real estate investors have a really great deal from the tax code perspective. I mean, you can buy a property for $100,000. It appreciates to a million dollars. You could sell that property, make $900,000 gain, and then put it into other different properties. Um, and real estate investors, yes, you eventually when you sell all those properties a hundred years from now, there may be a depreciation recapture, right? Because you still have that original cost basis. But what real estate investors do is they kind of kick the can down the road for a long time, right? And then when a property is appreciating, they're able to refinance it because the bank has a hard asset such as real estate. And they're able to take that money out as debt. And as long as the properties aren't over leveraged or the property values keep going up, um, you know, they're able to kind of consistently pull out cash um, and it's never going to hit your income. And, uh, you know, I, I do think that if, let's say, Donald Trump and Melania were getting divorced and Donald, the, Donald came in saying, I make negative four point eight million dollars. You know, no one's going to believe that when he's flying around a jet and has a golden apartment or, or whatever you know, uh, lives in Trump Tower. So, you know, I think there's a big disparity there, but, you know, that's that's part of why we exist as for, as divorce forensic accountants, because, you know, clients rely on us to tell them, well, what's the real number? How much money is does he really have for support? 